If you were to say that today's golf club was traditional or even typical Mizuno, one of the next two things could possibly happen to you. A single billet of 1025E will be thrown from Mizuno's direction, it'll crack you straight in the forehead. No thanks. The second thing is, if you think this is typical Mizuno, bloody hell. I was, I was, okay. If you go in thinking it's the thing that can't be named, you're probably gonna be disappointed. Like, actually. I'll tell you one thing for free, actually, make it a tenner. It's definitely not the prettiest Mizuno iron I've ever seen, especially coming from the MP range. Especially after we've just tested the 221, I mean, nothing really bad came from that review, did it? <coughs> Down at the address position though, it is traditional Mizuno. Right, come on, here. Silly. Oh, that feels very good. <laughs> that feels very good. You haven't won yet. Nah, nah, nah. Not that easily, duck. Oh, man. Oh, this feels very good. Do you dare? Okay. <laughs> that, 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 hey, look, see that, that is what we're after. That was one of the best I've felt in very long, uh, in very long. So for most of last year, I had the MP20s and the MMCs. To make things very awkward, not really, it's a golf club. The MMC happens to be the predecessor of this 223. So I'm extremely passionate about doing a toe to toe with those two because I love the MMC, <laughs> like love it. Yep, yep, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. That is a very easy, this is a 200 yard club. Tell you what, this has got some serious, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, not a 2-2-1 soft, it's its own soft with a bit of a springy kick feel. Do you understand? That was a bottom groover. <laughs> In the hole. So I suppose the thing that makes this less Mizuno-y, or they like that. Go on, let's go. Yep, I'll take it. This has got that lovely compact player head profile, but it's been stuffed like a Christmas turkey with distance enhancing technologies. So what does this iron take after? Well, so imagine that the laser gets left on in Honey Eye Shrunk the Kids. It did get left, shut up. So let's imagine then that the JPX921 happens to fall into the laser. And Mizuno is saying that post laser beam, the 223 is now comparable to an MP62 and even an MP64. It's quite impressive. It couldn't be shrunk anymore because number one, there's too much tech in here to make it any smaller. Number two, Robbo happened to be the item before the 223 and he took the majority of the hit. Poor sod. I was wondering how long it was going to take for one of those. Stops fast, we've got the spin. Come on. Mate, come on, I ate a shank in the other video, just hold, hold one. Oh, please, I'm not even asking that much. So hopefully by now, many of you have watched the Mizuno Pro 221 review, it was fantastic. Apart from that. So what I don't want to do is regurgitate the same information. What I like to do if we've got multiple sets in a range is try and mix the info, keep it fresh. So here are a few things that you should know about this iron. 
We do know it's one piece green flow forged with 1025E at Hiroshima, Japan. I've been there. We also know that it's got that internal copper layer which was made famous by the TN87 and made a surprise comeback like The Undertaker in 2018. Hello? Brenda? Despite my fatty exterior, I was a very good swimmer when I was younger. That counts, doesn't it? The 223 is chrome molly and a flow micro slot from 4 to 7 iron for extra ball speed. That probably explains what that little <laughs> noise is. It's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> People watch this, you know. I know. Guys, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. I can't stop hitting it. I'm going to have to put this down a minute, aren't we? We'll be here all day. So again, currently because of issues with stock, I do only have a 7.9. Everyone forgets about us in Australia. We just, well, we don't exist, do we, apparently? So there is that. In my fake studio in fake Australia, I do only have a 7.9. The full set will be coming and we'll be going on the course with that. Again, to help the video out, if you want to see that, just type course 223. You know what to do. Stock shaft, we've got the wonderful NS Pro Modus 3 Tor 115 Stiff. Oh, it's just delightful. It's like that crumpet, warm crumpet with butter melted into it. That's what it feels like. Beautiful. Smash one out to the right for the final. Let's go and see those numbers. So if there's an iron that matures me, <laughs> yeah, unbelievable, I know. It's the MP range, Mizuno Pro, should I say now. Um, never have I ever, <laughs> I feel like I need to drink after this, ever wanted to ever like hit one really hard when I'm stood over the ball with any MP Mizuno Pro range. I actually want to hit the ball well. You know what I mean? It's, I really don't want to visit Brenda and Barbara. I want to hit it nicely. I want to get the rewards for hitting it nicely. And I think that's what really makes Mizuno Mizuno. So we had 6129 on the back spin, which you would expect that's slightly lower than what we got with the 221. Um, and that's obviously down to a few things. It would be technology, but mainly down to that stronger loft. But still ample backspin to get the ball stopped, as we saw. Carrier was 177 yards, 181 total. I'm not joking, and I'll probably do it in the shot shaping challenge. This has got high end 190s, 200 yards in the bag quite easily. Swinging it extremely similar to what I was yesterday, but I feel like I'm getting more rewards with this iron. Definitely got that forgiving aspect, a little bit more help, a bit more distance, a bit more power. But does that mean with an MOI adjustment it's going to be harder to shape? We'll find out very soon. So, shot shaping challenge coming up. Stick around, you will be rewarded with either shocking shots or hopefully pretty decent. Guys, thank you as always for watching. Please go and try these out. You know what? You know, you know the drill by now. If you like it, don't take anyone's word for it. You need to like this. This needs to perform well for you. This needs to perform well when you're fitted too. So, go and do that, all right? So guys, if you're not a part of Team Allen and you like the content, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, live streaming on Twitch. Come and join the best Discord, the best community in the world. I'll put the link down below. We would love to see you in there too. It's like the Team Al hub. Lots of things and events happening. It's very exciting. Right, enough of the waffle. Let's go. That's a pass. <sighs> Are you all right? <laughs> That's exact it's exactly the same shot. Still trash. 
but hey, better than those two. That's a golf shop right there. Probably started it a little bit OTT left. <coughs> but that's exactly what we wanted. The low draw is the one I feel like I've got. That's the one I usually struggle with. Hmm. Hmm. Did that fade? I faded though. It did look side spin right, I can't. Doesn't matter where it ends up. Down the line in the hole. Turned it a little bit. But that's decent. As long as it's got under 500 side spin, it's a pass. That's got like maybe 200. And the final one, not part of the shot shaping challenge, but I think this has got 200 yards in it. So let's see if we can fly the green. Nearly. Maybe not. I, I like the fact that it's not going sailing into the water on the other side. We've still got plenty of zippage. What did that go? 194 carry, but a lovely 6254 backspin. So we haven't got this hot rocket that comes off the face every now and again. It's still sticking to its traditional Mizuno um, roots. Why am I so tired? It's hard work this, I tell you. Guys, 